Hi there guys, welcome. Today we're going to play some Armored Warfare. Yep, this game is not out yet, but as you can see up here, it says in, well, it doesn't really say, but in two days and ten hours, this game will be out open playing for free. So you, everybody can join. And yep, this is yet another tank game. However, Unlike the other tank games out there, uh, this one is uh, awesome. <laughs> that a bit harsh, but it's true. Um, this is Armored Warfare. It's all about modern tanks. So instead of all that shitty World War II tanks where the tanks barely can drive themselves up a hill, we got real tanks, real speeds, and we got vehicles driving 100 kilometers per hour while firing. Yeah, that's awesome. So, just a quick overview before we're going to jump into uh, maybe a PvP or PvE battle. Yep, this game has PvE. How awesome is that? Yep, so if you got a shitty vehicle that you need to play through... Uh, just to unlock the next one, you can just PvE it. Yeah, fair enough. So, basically when you start your game, you get the M113. That's an awesome vehicle. And uh, this model has a turret on. It also comes without a turret, depending on which nation has it and what type or what role it has in a war. But this one has a turret and a pretty neat um, cannon. Or machine cannon if you want you can see we're using 20 millimeters armor piercing sabot rounds on this well, it actually says auto cannon yeah then you also start with uh, this one the pt 76 russian thing yeah not sure not sure at all but it's damn nice i'm using the 76 millimeter uh, armor piercing on this one it's also well, this is not a auto cannon. This is a real cannon, except this vehicle is terribly slow. So that's some pretty awesome vehicles to start with. Um, then you wonder how do I unlock new vehicles? Well, unlike the other games where you either unlock via a specific line tree or a country tree, this time we are working with a faction tree. They work the same way. It's just a different setup. So we got our dealers up here. Drug dealers. We got two. And don't uh, think she's just about America. And this guy is just about uh, Eastern Europe over here. Asia. It's not like that. These are. Uh, they're just randomly placed. But. They sell uh, vehicles. And here is. Wilfly, <laughs> yeah, the tech tree for Wilfly, and there we go, Leo A7, that's the one, oh yeah, well, anyway, <laughs> you need to unlock them using different methods, so when you start out, you get this square, of course, you can buy your premium vehicles, as always, and the maximum you can get is this, MBT-70 uh, TSX tank. Uh, I got some sort of good deal. I bought a founder's package, so I got this tank included. Anyway, these are all locked. Just like this one still is locked. And you need to do specific things to unlock each tree. So, uh, these three trees are unlocked for me, but I didn't intend to unlock them. So. Even if you don't intend to, you will eventually unlock them. Just like you can see over here, the artillery, it's being worked on. You can see the small orange bar, almost full. And there we go, you can see. All I got to do is do 50 PvP battles or 75 PvE with one of these vehicles on the screen right now. So, eventually that will get unlocked. One of the harder ones for some people is this one. Uh, you have to do damage for over 300, 300 meters in either PvP or PvE. And if you want to unlock this line, 
PvP is definitely the way to go because you are going to be sniping the other team. The maps are, are relative large, so you'll get it fairly fast. But some people are unlucky, and uh, yeah, I know at least two people who are having problems with this line. Other than that, the normal lines are uh, Leopard tanks, American tanks, BMP. Uh, that's sort of a armor personal carrier of some sort, uh, except this one is armed with a cannon. And uh, some sort of scouting vehicle. Yeah, <laughs> check that one out. It's a fucking armored car. <laughs> oh, yeah, anyway, let's see. The American tanks, you can see it's just about of damage. Do damage of 100 meters away with any of Sophie's vehicles. Battle 10,000 damage or 40,000 damage with any vehicle. 50 vehicles spotted to unlock the spotted line. Or, or sorry, scout line. And the Leopard is just damage. While your vehicle health is greater than 50%. Also Sophie's vehicle. So that's, that's easy. Right now I'm focusing on this line right here as you can see i'm on tier 5 and uh, i'm working my way up this one i just unlocked this guy yesterday that's a french vehicle of you can see got a french flag right there and there's a bit of history developed by france uh, it looks like shit but it plays really awesome it's an awesome vehicle we got our stats and each tank has its own tech tree so by playing you earn experience and this line here is the experience of the tank so if we click uh, where is it there we go you can see we get different tech trees and uh, oh here we go this is a uh, of 40 it's a leopard variant it's not really a leopard uh, but for some reason they shoved it right in there as a tier 4, maybe because uh, Leo is missing a tier 4, but then they could just have used a Leo A3 or something. But they decided to use this shitty Italian tank instead. There we go. The only thing it has in common with the Leo is uh, they stole the design, but you know, it's Italians, they, they do that. Uh, other than that, no, it's just shit slow bad aim really bad reload uh, the leopard one <laughs> this one the older one is much better than this one for some reason they had to shove this piece of shit into the game anyway in real world there was only built something like 40 or something and they were sold to arab some arab countries anyway and they're just going to blow them up or fill them up with sand Anyway, unlock trees, there's one for each tank, and you can see I got this amount of experience. Meaning I'm able to unlock uh, upgrades. So you can see, well, I want this 105mm heat upgrade. Of course, right now we already have a heat, but uh, we can unlock a better grenade. So let's do that. And notice the XP up here when I click. Yes, confirm. There we go, the XP is lower, but the line remains the same, because once you reach this point, you should be able to have everything unlocked. Oh yeah, we got more, so let's see. Targeting time by 20%, yes please. And you need to buy the upgrade on your tank as well, so let's do that. There we go. And our experience is spent. Now, before going into battle, you need to remember to switch your ammunition. Here we go. We got different types of ammunitions. This is locked, locked. This one is the one we just unlocked. So, let's see. We're going to get a 32 increase in damage and 15mm extra penetration. So, let's get that guy up there. If you wanted to, you could just drop everything up there and bring everything into battle. <laughs> But it makes no sense. Cunt. 
Let's see. Yep. Confirm. In this game, we have something called retrofits. Um, so, even on the premium vehicles, we got this uh, premium vehicle right here. And it's fully upgraded, so I can't really do anything to it, except you can see it has these three retrofit ports down here. It has a global, a firepower, a movement or mobility, and usually a defense as well. And each correspond to these down here. So you can see you can upgrade the armor. It's going to cost me 40,000. And it's going to give me 7.5% extra hit points. So that's nice. Or maybe firepower. There's a few different to choose from. And you can see some of them are locked. We got mobility. And technology. Different bonuses. And the way you unlock these, well, one of my most important uh, retrofits is actually from the Leopard 1, this one. So if we press upgrade, you can see down here, once you reach proven, that's this one, the star right there, when you are 50% full, you can unlock the, this line down here. And this one is the chrome barrel lining, adding 3% damage and 10% accuracy. It's very, very useful vehicles. Uh, funny enough, this is vehicle combat. So, now that it's unlocked, I can go into firepower and I can uh, put this one. I can buy it if I want to and it's going to cost me 70. No, thank you. <laughs> And then we have consumables for the last four points. You can see we get a PVE mid-tier field maintenance kit. Yeah, it's actually going to restore health and ammunition in PVE only, only in PVE. Uh, then you'll think, holy shit, but that's just a computer. We can just do a comp stomp. Well, actually they uh, programmed the AI uh, reasonably good. Uh, and uh, I say reasonably because it's somewhat predictable. Sometimes it's not, but at random it can be very unpredictable. So, and the rest of them is just like you uh, would expect. You can repair parts on your vehicle, repair your crew, <laughs> repair your crew, <laughs> give them first aid, right? <laughs> fire extinguisher, yes, fire is a thing. Protein bars, buffing your... Crew uh, oils for buffing your vehicle. Then we have crew, and the crew is different per vehicle because some tanks require more crew, right? The commander, however, uh, you can level up and you can see they get different bonuses. And they drive multiple tanks because, of course, you're only bringing one of them into combat at a time and then you level them up and choose what they want or you can retrain them if you're unhappy and stuff like that maintenance the best thing about this game is number one there's no premium ammunition that you can't buy gold ammunition you cannot it's not there so you won't be raped by somebody with overpowered ammunition. Of course you will, because uh, once people uh, start to upgrade the vehicles, you can see like this one, it's a anti-tank vehicle and you can upgrade your anti-tank uh, weaponry. As you can see, you can get up to 200 millimeter heat on this vehicle. Right now I'm using 192, sorry, 292, uh, yeah, that's right. So, of course, different ammunition is an option, but it's not uh, something you're going to be able to buy, so you can't buy that power. Also, when you buy a new vehicle, you don't need to buy tank slots. So, let's see. Let's let, let's let's do an experiment. You can see I don't I can click here. There's no more and I can click over here. That's the far left and this is the far right. Okay, so I 
I want a new tank. I'm going into dealers. Let's go into Siskin because I, I, I don't really play him. I'm only focusing on one line at a time. So I'm only focusing on this guy and then Leo on the side. Once this is at least tier 7 ish, then I can start focusing on maybe Siskin's vehicles if I wanted to. But anyway, let's buy a vehicle. These are too expensive. So let's. Oh, and you can see I haven't really played that much because these, these are not unlocked yet. <laughs> so, to unlock these, you can see the red text right there. It says 82 out of 2400 earned in this vehicle's predecessor, meaning I need to play this vehicle or unlock uh, the experience with the uh, global experience, just like you know from the other games. Anyway. Let's get this uh, pattern 48. You can see an American tank. Shit. Yeah. It uses a uh, high caliber weaponry uh, stuff. Okay. 12,000. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. And just autofill. Thank you. Confirm. There we go. I got a new tank. And let's go into the garage. And it's going to be placed on the left because I'm charging by T. And there we go. New pattern. And this is not just because I'm running premium. This is also the free. You shouldn't uh, have to buy extra tank spots. That's awesome. So you can just fill up your roll down here with all the tanks. Every damn tank there is. How awesome is this? Mm, there we go. Stuff. More stuff. More stuff. Oh, we can share our stuff on Twitter and Facebook. Yeah. We got a base. We collect the materials and we can upgrade our base. These different buildings do different things. You can see the recon post. Premium time cost minus 1%. So when I expect it, when we upgrade it again, it's going to be minus 2%. Helipad. Currency earned plus 1%. Garrets. Repair cost minus 2%. Free XP earned plus two percent. Commander XP earned two percent. Crew XP earned four percent. Finally, equipment cost minus four percent. So that's some bonuses you get to work with. And I mentioned one thing about unlocking the next vehicle. So I'm working my way down the wheel destroyer because I think they are fun. They die so easy, but uh, the trick is not to get hit, or at least try not to get hit. And uh, it, it's it's a sniper. It's a if you are a MMO player, it's a glass cannon. You got this incredible weapon on a piece of paper, and sometimes it's going to rain on that paper. Yeah. Okay. So the next one I want to unlock is this one B1 Centaur. It's a uh, Italy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, some things are okay. Anyway, uh, if we look down at the bottom, you can see I need to unlock two things. One of them already has a check mark, that's the orange uh, yellow thing. But the next one is the red one at the bottom. It says vehicle prerequisites do this amount of damage. In this vehicle's predecessor. So I need to do 135,000 damage with my current vehicle to unlock this one. That's a lot, especially considering uh, damage, damage, you can see damage per minute. That's not something you can calculate on because uh, you really have to be lucky to be able to hit that many targets uh, pvp uh, sorry pve you might be very lucky and the computer would just spawn enemies on you and you you should be able to do a lot of damage pvp people are more cautious and you have to either lure them out or just snipe them from far and that meaning that means it will lower the damage per minute but 
you can see damage 295 plus some from the ammunition so you will do an average of three four hundred per shot if you are able to hit that is uh yeah that's it so let's uh let's try a pvp if there's anybody on you can see there's 33 players i'm tier 5 you can see there's five players cubes tank destroyers there's four five and uh yeah i'm not sure how this is calculated because some of oh we're joining now i'm wondering is this going to be a four versus four or a 16 versus 16 player uh, of course i prefer the latter so off we go port storm okay here we go it's a full battle tier 5 tier 6 oh that's reasonable uh we're not in the low end but you shouldn't uh, really just laugh at the lower tier because as per usual they can still track you of course i'm in a wheel so i won't be tracked but i'll just take damage instead and die yeah there we go modern vehicles modern combat mm. oh yeah this game got smileys there we go good luck have fun yeah 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 that's a bit funny with the matchmaking but i i really think it's because we are so few players online right now my time is 8 a.m right now 8 a.m in the morning so i think the computer or server has a problem matchmaking people there's not enough people online Plus, there's not really that many uh, who, who has this uh, premium access. Of course, there's some, but most people uh, are waiting for the open open beta, the public one, where everybody can play. So it's, it's That's fucking tanking. Yeah, flying tank. Uh, get over it. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's going to come around the. I can't hit him from here. That guy. Oh, yeah, he's fast. That's one of the scouts. And this is. Uh, let's just hope they don't see me. Yeah, I need to get my ass behind that wall. Premium sniping spot. And yeah, you can zoom with your mouse. There's, there's like three steps of zoom. I know he's up there, you can see on the mini map. Luckily, we are good covered. However, uh, both this position I'm in right now is very open. It's very bad for me. And uh, this guy out there. What the fuck? <laughs> he's, he's just like, yeah, fuck this. I'm just going to sit out in the old man. Identify target. Off the truck. Nailed. They hit us hard. Ooh. Yep, you can see top mid. I got this uh, yellow eye, meaning I'm spotted. Is he there or is he? Somebody is shooting at me, you can see the explosions right there. And uh, it's understandable because I got what the Russians will call much penetration or many penetration, yeah. Uh, this vehicle got a very high penetration, meaning uh, Identify target. Awful truck. I'm actually, yeah, he spotted me again. And the spotting skill is really something you need to train up on your crew and your commander. Of course, there are some retrofits. Uh, remember, we talked about retrofits that can uh, benefit from uh, so 
budding, I'll give you a There we go. No get the cover. Check out my damage. I'm half dead. Haven't hit shit. Well, I hit him once. But uh, I'm not going to sit here and just die. We need to move out. Oh, we got artillery as well. And yeah, hiding is a thing in this game. You can hide. Uh, but you need to drive inside a bush or some sort of uh, plant. You see there are plants everywhere. Yeah, somebody is still shooting at me. So either they can guess where I am or somebody can see me. Somebody saw me. I'm just backing a bit out here so I can get a better hit over the hills, but it uh, looks like the artillery is doing uh, a bit of cleanup. And again, somebody is spotting me. Somebody with a far better command than me. All my friends just died up there as well. They hit a car. Identified. And I'm on fire. Game over. <laughs> well, that was one shitty match. Yeah, hit by uh, the exped expeditionary tank. Very cool premium sniper tank. Also a glass cannon. Yeah, excuse me, that's just me drinking coffee. Anyway. No go. Where's the artillery guy? There we go. He's way back here. <laughs> anyway, fun, 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 fun. Let's uh, just... Uh, Get back to the garage and let's try a PvE match while we wait for our tank to return so we can see how that terribly went wrong. <laughs> and as usual, we can't use the tank while it's out in battle. So the one that killed me is this one. Very fast, very agile. Very dangerous, and there we go. PVE, you can choose difficulty, easy, medium, and uh, hard. I play medium, so let's uh, go. Excuse me, and of course, when you start the match, let's just uh, leave the queue again. You can uh, see down here what the mission is. There's 25 different PVE missions right now, and uh, that's pretty cool. The only downside is I can't uh, just take and load a specific map and practice that with some friends or something. Uh, we're still forced to play a well relative random map. You can see I get three to choose from, but I, if I wanted to play on a specific map, that's not possible. Well, I can sit and wait until it's available. Well, here we go. Even though we lost, you can see I got a little bit of experience <laughs> my crew got some experience and I got some uh, points and some cash very nice and there we go we are joining we are joining with uh, primarily uh, armor piercing and we got 16 heat grenades operation Kodiak Four tier six and one tier five. Of course, the tanks from the computer or server will also be a matching tiers, but a very different variety. See, so we got two of these BMT BMP t terminators, and. Uh, this is one of those maps where you can actually fail 
Uh, not because the enemy will kill you, but because of some silly bug. If you look on the minimap down to the right, you can see there's sort of this circle with an X right there. And uh, that's capture point. We are trying to defend while the computer will try to engage us and capture that point. Roughly one third into the match, the point will move up, and another third into the match, the point will move up again. The problem with this map is, even though the point is moved, uh, they are sometimes able to still capture the first point. <laughs> Still going for the cargo terminals. Stop them. Yeah. This is fine. This is a uh, one of those maps. If you drive out there, okay. you're going to get hurt. And you can see, even though I'm parked back here, he's still hitting me. Not half, but just just enough to let me know. Hey, we're here. No penetration, of course. Those two uh, BMPs are on a T90 uh, chassis, meaning uh, <laughs> they can take so much damage. It's uh, incredible. They can really take a pounding without uh, anything happening to it. So they are really awesome. The turret, however, is shit. You can see that guy is almost dead, and he's he's not moving. Larkin. Well, that's his problem. There we go. And uh, the thing to focus on in this game is not kills, it's damage. Uh, the amount of experience and money you get afterwards is uh, based on... Uh, damage and uh, let's see you can see me at the bottom i have done 1800 so far the guy above me has done around 23. there we go now we can move on moving up okay. and on this specific map we got some capture points we need to capture these radar dishes as a bonus. So, let's do that. And you can see there's some squares. I'm going to hit up and uh, capture them right now because I am a light tank. I'm very fast. Of course, we have this. You can see the player top left. VFN5 is also a light armor, very fast tank. Oops, that's a boss. Bosses are identified by the yellow color, and he's coming this way. So let me get the fuck out of it. We got one minute and twenty seconds to capture all those points. So even though Enough that may sound like here. a lot, it's not. Especially when you need to spend 20 seconds on each point to capture it. So let's just get up here. Full speed, you can see our speed down to the left. It's 80 kilometers per hour. That's pretty fast for an ar any armored vehicle. Of course, it's almost impossible to control. Stop! <laughs> capturing, 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 capturing. A 
allied base being attacked, meaning uh, they are capturing uh, our point as well. And this might actually be the bug uh, I was talking about. Fucking turn! Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm turning and turning and this shit vehicle is not turning. Identified. Yeah. Awesome. Too slow. The we didn't get the... the We're running out of time. Yeah. GG! <laughs> there we go. So we lost a PvP and we lost a PvE match. Awesome! Uh, I really doubt these guys will win. Uh, you can see the last spot is up here now in the dry dock. But, uh, Yeah, I just don't see it. <laughs> so let's just head back to the garage. No reason crying. We got plenty of tanks to just roll out on the next mission. Yep, fast rolling. Come on. So. There we go guys, that's Armored Warfare for you. I think it's pretty awesome and I, I think it's very fun. Even the, even when you lose the game, it's not really a problem. I'm still having a lot of fun. There we go, my tank is back. Got a little bit of experience. So, of course you can buy gold, you can buy green currency, you can buy experience. Well, you can't really buy it. It's uh, just like uh, if you have this tank, you can see it's at maximum. So all the experience earned from this tank goes into this pool. You can see I got 106, so I can take those 106. I can try it at 106. That's not enough. You need at least 125. Okay. And put it into that pool. When it's in this pool, you can use it to unlock these so you can click on this line and you can see well let me put 486 into that there we go and it just increased the experience by this much there we go i got some you can see this just increased from uh, the PV pve match we just lost and uh, yeah let's let's convert that just so you can see how it works so i'm just going to edit this and it's going to calculate and i'm going to say yeah that's fine i'm then going to Put it into here. Three nine three. There we go, and it's filling up slowly. Eventually, you'll be able to unlock these things with this experience. So that's the fast way to unlock things. Of course, it's going to cost you gold. I got with the founders package. I got eight thousand gold to begin with. The only thing I've spent gold on so far is uh, converting experience and some uh, green cash. Because when I reached the point where I needed this vehicle, I can't remember the price. Let's check it out. Because they're all the same price over the tiers, you can see. So it was 1.92 million. I actually think it was 2 million. I'm not sure point is I was lacking 1 million I was around 1 million cash and then I needed another so I quickly got myself a million from converted gold and most likely when I'm able to unlock this one I'm still going to need 2 million so I'm going to convert it the alternative for me is to farm the green cash and you will get a lot of cash from uh, PvE matches you can see we got 6,000 there. 
That's very, very bad. <laughs> but then again, we lost. So don't expect some sort of huge bonus or anything, you can see. The multiplier. Kills. I have some kills, you can see there. Kills is only one multiplier. Two kills plus six. So why should I worry about kills? Damage, however. Damage has a lot of multiplier. And you can see you get a kill multiplier. Um, so what I usually do is uh, I try to first hit as many tanks, uh, regardless if it's PvP or PvE as possible, and just ignore the kills. Of course I'm going to kill a tank if it's pointing at me and I'm loaded up, clearly. But if we're two or three guys looking at the same tank, I'm going to hold fire. I'm not going to waste my ammunition on a 10 point kill <laughs> because a lot of these both pvp and pve missions you will run into low ammunition issues so many times you end the round with only one or two shots left and i even saw people complaining in the chat well they don't have any ammunition well tough luck stop shooting at the <laughs> the lower tiers or get this one if you're playing PvE. It will reload some ammunition. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time. I think my next video is going to be uh, City Skylines. I've been playing a lot of that lately because of the new expansion with the day night cycle. It's awesome. <laughs> see you later. Bye.